sometimes you have to make a new bass bar on the cello or on the violin. On these two instruments, the bass bar has been worked out of the solid timber when the instrument was wet made, so it wasn't fitted. You can see that here, like how the grain is running into the bass bar rather than actually being fitted as a different piece of timber onto the original wood. Here you can see very clearly that it's running parallel to the center line of the instrument, which is actually the wrong position for a bass bar. You can see it a little bit better here again. I show Look how the grain is running straight from the bass bar into the top plate. That's not very good, so th this kind of bass bars need to be removed. There's obviously other reasons why you would remove a bass bar. Um, some are if they have been placed in a different place, if they can loose and rattle, then you have to put a new bass bar in. But in this case, on the violin and on the cello, I'm removing the old bass by putting a new bass by in solely for the reason that it has been has never been fitted, it has been worked out of the solid timber and through that it's placed. Here you can see me removing the bass bar with a thumb plane. You have to be careful that you don't remove too much glue so that you are not actually going deep into the timber of the top plate. Make sure that you're working with the grain and not against the grain. That's why I'm turning the top plate so that I'm working with the grain so that the timber is not splitting off. I actually want it to be cut off. from a different angle, the, the base bar is nearly down and nearly out. As you can see on this violin as well, it's like this violin has never been finished from the inside properly. So normally you would work actually with the scrap to remove all the little waves you can see before. I will have to do that later on this violin. Luckily on this particular violin has all been done so that it's actually too thick. So it's very easy for me to clean that all out and bring the violin top plate to the proper thickness. Obviously you do not do that to violins with the name attached to it, but this particular violin has been made in, in fairly sure in Czechoslovakia and um, there's no name attached to it. Here I'm starting on the cello. Oops, it's not strong enough. Okay, that works better. Removing all the timber of the old bass bar. Using a bigger plane, as you can see, it's not a thin, like a tiny thumb plane. It's a much bigger plane. more progress now. There's a lot of wood shading so as you can see a little bit later. Again like I'm trying to work with the grain and not against the grain. I do not want the timber to split, I just want it to be cut off. Now there you can see like all the shavings I created from the old base bar. Now again I'm measuring the thickness of the plate just to make sure that it's not too 
happen if you have a base bar which has been fitted you cannot work that far down you actually only work down until you have maybe less than half a millimeter left and then you soak it off with water but i will show that in a different video at another time if you like this video Please go to my YouTube channel Ilya Grover Violin Maker and look at the follow up of this little clip which is fitting a new bass bar.